Hello, welcome to Tennis Zone's channel. Today we're going to show you how to install a grip. Right, so today what we're going to show you is very simple. Every tennis player should be able to do that. It's very, very simple, uh, very useful as well. Uh, if you're on the middle of a match, let's say, and after a set, if it's very, very sweaty, uh, your hand is very sweaty, you need something very dry, you can switch it right away between two sets. Something very, very easily done. But like I said, every player should be able to do that. Uh, first of all, a very simple thing to know is uh, are you lefty, are you righty, of course, and how are you going to do it if it's lefty or righty. Now, how I'm going to explain how it works, basically. Um, here I have um, a righty groove. By the way, every racket uh, since the dawn of time was gripped righty by default. Now, uh, if you're a lefty player, let's say, let's say I'm using my left hand to uh, grip a righty grip like this, you're going to see that the groove, which are going in a complete different direction, are overlapping my hand. If you do it on a righty hand, as you can see, the groove will follow the hand, which is very important. Very important. It's not going to be, uh, you know, a dying situation or anything like that. But the thing is, um, the groove and the um, the space is basically accessible from there. Now, if you're if you're not following the angle properly, um, the sweat will literally uh, inject itself like in between and will destroy the glue and make it go away. It's not like I said, uh, such a terrible situation. You're going to change your grip maybe, uh, you know, more often. But the thing is. It's, that's how you do it. So now the first thing that you do uh, when you want to uh, change your overgrip, first of all, you're going to uh, remove the overgrip from its pack. And there's a plastic bag that covers it. It's normal. It's going to keep its stickiness. Um, and also, you're going to make sure that uh, at, little, at the uh, starting part, you're going to have a little piece of uh, tape that can, you can uh, expose here to start your racket. Now, how you start it, like I said before, if you're righty, you're going to go counterclockwise. Um, that's the basic uh, way to do it, uh, uh, counterclockwise. And if if you are a lefty, you're going to do it uh, clockwise, basically. Now, counterclockwise, what you do is, this is what I'm doing here for the example. You're going to wrap it around very slowly. Now, what you do is want to make sure that you're overlapping only for a few millimeters only, so that uh, uh, the um, this will give uh, a little groove or maybe a little uh, uh, place to have a, um, a way to find your racket. Basically, it's, uh, it's a way to do it. So many people want to do it. It depends on your preference as well, uh, if you prefer have a, a, a little thicker um, I don't know the exact term here again I'm French but if you want to have a, a thicker let's say groove or bump let's say you can have uh, uh, you know a bigger overlapping now at the end once you finish you're completely uh, gonna imagine that line here uh, that you can do at the end of the racket you, you picture a line and you're gonna use your scissor to cut it literally through it so you can finish it using that piece of tape that was provided with it you're gonna finish it completely like that all right, so that was it on how to install a grip. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, very simply made, again, if you ever pass by the store, we're going to do it for free. It's always a pleasure for us, or even we can show it to you again uh, in store. It's, again, something that we love to do. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you'll subscribe and put a like. I'll thank you and see you next time.